Hey guys, so the plants are all doing good. Uh, we had three days of no sunlight pretty much. So they haven't had too, too much growth, but they got a lot of water. So at least I won't have to worry about watering them for a while. Plus it kind of acted as a flushing agent as well. It's always good to get some good uh, natural water on your plants. If you can, as you can tell, like this has been in the sun all day, but yeah, quite a bit of water because these were empty last time. So yeah, I think we got like, Plus 100 millimeters over the weekend. Oh, sorry, I almost had a sneeze. Anyways, this plant I low stress strained and it's doing absolutely amazing. Uh, what you want to do is just tuck down these fan leaves that are in the way of the flowering uh, spots, and then it'll, it'll increase the growth even more. So yeah, like that's a good thing about growing indoors is you can come do this every single day. Or I mean. Uh, you can go and tuck the leaves every day. You can do a lot more training on it because it's a lot more efficient and easy. But yeah, these plants are all doing pretty good. Uh, they're probably still another five, six weeks away, I'd say, just because, well, for those ones at least. This one, as you can tell, is gonna be done in a couple weeks. But yeah, it's looking pretty good. Same with that guy. They're all nice and green and healthy, and that's all I care about. Uh, of course, they're not the biggest, but I'm not too, too worried about that. I'm just excited to start growing indoors. But yeah, look at this guy. It's pretty huge. If I have, didn't low stress train that, I bet, uh, bet it'd be close to two and a half, three feet. And I mean, when I was growing auto flowers in, indoors, they only got to about, shit, what was it? Oh, I just freaking stabbed myself. Um, I think it was, yeah, about 20, 20 inches for most of those plants. So, I mean, this is really good. I can't wait to see what this guy produces because it's gonna be a shit. Crap load of uh, but I think sorry, I'm a little sick right now, so sniffling. There's another good looking plant, I really need to do some trimming out here. It's just damn weather, it's so cold. But this week's supposed to be nice and hot and sunny all week, so I'm really excited about that. Another good auto fire right there, little guy right there, another little guy right there. I can try to show you that one. This guy's doing all right. This one I'm pretty excited about. It uh, looks small just because how I uh, bent it down. As you can tell, I did three separate strings there. But uh, that one's gonna be a really good producer. Cause usually when they're low and bushy like that, that means there's gonna be a lot of tops on them. So that's kind of the goal when you're growing, try to keep it low and bushy. And then I'll, that'll increase uh, how much light it can uh, get. So yeah. I may low stress train, yeah I probably should actually, I should low stress train every single plant here. Just so much damn work. <laughs> but I'm gonna do that, I may as well. Even if it's just one string on each plant, that'll really uh, help it grow and produce more. This guy's pretty small, but it'll be done in about two weeks I'd say. That guy's gonna do nothing. Those three are all, all looking pretty good. Um, I'd say they still have another four or five weeks. Those are all photo periods. That one's not doing very well. That'll be like two grams. <laughs> that guy's doing pretty good. Like I said, I need to freaking trim around these. These two aren't doing very good. That one's doing all right. Probably better if the fence wasn't over it. Oh. Yeah. I'm really glad nothing even got to my plants. Like, there's been no problems with deer eating it or nothing. Oh God, I love the looks of this plant. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> Usually when they start flowering like this, they'll uh, they'll increase their height like by one and a half times. But since they're low stress training, the height won't be as high. Um, that's one of the things, if you low stress train them, then you're not gonna get as high of a plant, but you should still get a better yield. It may take a little longer as well if you low stress train. And yeah, this guy's doing good. So yeah, those are all my plants. Um, I'd say about 15 to 20 of them are gonna be pretty good producers I mean there's obviously that plan and that plan and a few others that are gonna be really really good producers I mean they still have six more or seven more weeks of growing so pretty excited to see what they look like especially since the growth I've seen just in the past week so yeah I was waiting for those roots to finally start uh, digging into the ground and yeah, now I'm gonna, since it's raining all week, it was raining all weekend, I'm gonna let it dry out for probably at least five days. So then the roots uh, search for water. That's a good way to also help your plant grow. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'm gonna make a low stress training video here. 
Um, probably upload that today as well. I'll let you guys know though. And I'll probably be doing a live video either tonight or tomorrow night. Alright, see you guys.